Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing the magical instrument known as the Time Turner, and the problems associated with such a device. The Time Turner itself is first presented in the third installment of the Harry Potter series, The Prisoner of Azkaban. It is described as a small hourglass that can be worn around the witch or wizard's neck, and throughout both the book and film, one of these devices is worn by none other than Hermione Granger. As the plot of The Prisoner of Azkaban begins to unfold, we learn that Hermione has been using the device to travel back in time in order to accomplish a what should be impossible course load. Simply put, she was using time travel to attend multiple classes at the same time. Certainly not what I would have used it for, but hey. In any case, the introduction of the time turner came with questions, and potential plot holes. Of course, the greatest issue presented by the existence of a time turner is, if one can simply go back in time to fix mistakes, or save those who die, isn't that what Dumbledore, the Order of the Phoenix, or even Harry and his friends should do with each threat that subsequently comes up in the series? Could they not go back and save Harry's parents or defeat Voldemort? Well, as it turns out, this is also something that occurred to JK Rowling herself, as she shared with fans on wizardingworld.com. I went far too lightheartedly into the subject of time travel in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. While I do not regret it, Prisoner of Azkaban is one of my favorite books in the series, it opened up a vast number of problems for me. Because after all, if wizards could go back and undo problems, where were my future plots? I solved the problem to my own satisfaction in stages. Firstly, I had Dumbledore and Hermione emphasize how dangerous it would be to be seen in the past. To remind the reader that there might be unforeseen and dangerous consequences, as well as solutions in time travel. Secondly, I had Hermione give back the only time turner ever to enter Hogwarts. Thirdly, I smashed all remaining time turners during the battle in the Department of Mysteries, removing the possibility of reliving even short periods in the future. As it turns out, Rowling did also construct constraints around the use of time travel through the Wizarding World case of Eloise Mintumble, a witch who, in 1899, traveled back to 1402 and became trapped for five days. According to Professor Saul Croker, a wizard whose career has been dedicated to the study of time magic within the Department of Mysteries, this case uncovered that a body undergoes dramatic aging associated with the distance of time traveled. Sharing, Now we understand that her body had aged five centuries in its return to the present and, irreparably damaged, she died in St. Mungo's Hospital for magical maladies and injuries shortly after we managed to retrieve her. As a result, the department, which has ongoing investigations into time travel, has stated that the longest amount of time that a traveler can safely go back is about five hours. However, to me, the reason for limiting how far back one can travel actually presents a problem when considering Hermione's use of the time turner. If one ages the amount of time they travel backward, wouldn't that mean that each time Hermione went back an hour or two, she would age those extra hours? This wouldn't be too noticeable at first, but surely, with how frequently she was using it, she may have been looking a bit older by the end of The Prisoner of Azkaban. In any case, other than this small stipulation, I believe that other problems with the Time Turner have been reasonably well addressed. And with that, we've come to the end of another video. What did you think? Do you agree with me? Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.